Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller. And, and coach, from where I'm sitting, I would say it's a successful season, two in a row, 14 wins, one shy of tying the program record. Uh, had a little rough patch, but then made the, the MAC tournament, advanced to the semifinals, and then advanced to the ECAC semifinals. Talk about the season as a whole. Yeah, overall, I think uh, it was a big improvement. Uh, it was a, not a big improvement, but uh, an improvement on uh, the performances from the year before. I thought we played much better soccer. I thought we were uh, more consistent, even with uh, that little rough patch we had. We were still the better team in some of those games, except for Messiah. Um, but overall, it was uh, great to get to 14 wins, great to get uh, advanced to the ECAC semifinals, uh, and the recognition the team got. And I think. I think we really have the respect in the region, uh, a very tough region. And, uh, you know, I'm just proud of the way the team came out all year. A couple guys I want to mention. Uh, your sophomore goalkeeper, Matt Celitano, eight shutouts, two shared. He already has the program record in, in shutouts. Um, junior, Tark Lee, named all region. He's just a second in program history, first since 2010. And then, of course, senior, DR Medtart. Um, he was first team academic All-American, along with all the records that he set this year. Talk about those those three guys. Yeah, those three have just been uh, obviously integral to the program. Uh, you know, DR for four years, he's given everything for the program and, you know, played almost every minute. And uh, he would let me, he, he wants me to play him every minute. Uh, you know, every game, you know, setting those records. And obviously the big thing for him is what he's doing off the field as well, you know, in the classroom, you know, a straight A student. Uh, and being able to, you know, get that first team all, ac uh, all academic award is, is unbelievable for the program and for him as well. Uh, Tarek, uh, I think he had an up and down year, uh, but the fact is he's, he's well respected in the region and that's why we got the, the all, all region awards. And, and yeah, like you mentioned, the first is 2010. So even though he didn't score as many goals as what I think he's capable of, he still is such a, such a threat going forward that uh, the other coaches know that. And that's, that's great for him. And then Matt Stellatano, you know, eight shutouts and, and just continues to be uh, a leader on this team. We made him a captain this year. Uh, so for him to, to be able to get honorable mention in the MAC and uh, also with his academics, another straight A student. And uh, really, those are the kind of guys we want in this program, guys that are doing it off the, off the field as well as on the field. And as we kind of turn the page to next season, you're kind of in a similar position as you were last season. You're only losing five guys. Um, you know, and two of those three that we mentioned are back next year. What are the goals as you now flip the page to, to the 2020 season? Yeah, well, the goal again is, uh, you know, to be able to get to the MAC final. Uh, you know, we've fallen to Messiah in the semifinals the last two years. Uh, when we talked about this a few months ago, our goal was, you know, to finish in the top three. And we fell, you know, one point shy of it this year. So we know we need to be more consistent in conference. We need to get wins on the road, uh, get into that top three with some new teams uh, next year with Eastern and York joining the conference. Uh, get in that top three, give ourselves an opportunity uh, not to play in the playoff game and uh, the, the fourth, fifth game, get into the final and then give ourselves a chance to make the NCAA tournament. We did, uh, as the guys know, I told them we did make the schedule a lot tougher next year. We've added Johns Hopkins, uh, who made the NCAA tournament, uh, won the Centennial. We added Catholic, uh, who won the Landmark, uh, along with Stevens and Gettysburg as some of those uh, big non-conference games. Uh, so we're, we've got to go for it. We need to keep getting better. Uh, I think the seniors will be a loss. I think DR obviously was going to be a huge loss in the midfield. Um, Nick Ellis gave everything as an outside back. The other three seniors were just great uh, leaders off the field and really, uh, you know, kept the program, the younger guys uh, in check. Uh, so for us now, it's, uh, let's take the next step. So we're excited because we're only losing two starters and uh, everybody else has got to come back fitter, stronger, uh, work harder. Well, Coach, thank you for taking the time all season long. Wish you best of luck in the off season. And what do you say we do this again next year? Yeah, sure, Sam. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's do it with, uh, with a championship trophy next year. There we go. There Sitting we go. right here. Right there. Okay. For head coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Graham Miller Show.